Once you embrace your value, talents, and strengths, it neutralizes when others think less of you. Those are wise words. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to the country to invest entertainment. I'll give you hot gist of all the trending issues in Nigeria and Africa and the world at large. Please, I'll do that in you and miss the way to hit the subscribe button, the bell, and also the like. So as to stay updated whenever I'm talking about musical stars in Nigeria, musicians who have been doing very well in our beloved country, Nigeria, musicians like the Whiskey, Bonaboy, they be doing the list is like endless. We have so many musicians who have been dropping hits back to back, they be doing very well. But today we'll be focusing more on Bonaboy, Davido, and Whiskey. These guys are doing very well. And as I just spoke, I just dropped the message for a desk of singer Olamide, aka Bado. We know Olamide is one of the hottest rappers in Nigeria. They be doing very well. Well, let's start with singer Davido. Funny, we just got this, we just saw this online. But big ups to you, Davido, singer Davido vows not to close his mouth again after buying a brand new set of teeth my brother money good money good you can see the video i mean showing us his teeth they look so sweet so amazing so white sparkling white so the video just bought himself a new a brand new set of teeth and according to the video he said he won't close his mouth again we have to see his teeth my brother we have seen it and we'll keep seeing it because to you the video keep winning <laughs> because it takes a winner it takes somebody with money to get this set of teeth go to you davido so for that picture we just saw davido has joined the growing list of nigerian celebrities who spend fortunes on getting their teeth whitened the music star has vowed as i said earlier not to close his mouth again as he showed off his expensive new set of white teeth an internet user who reacted to the news wrote the thing go come tell me say money does not bring happiness Money brings happiness because you can see the video smiling yes, I mean, from he just bought himself a new set of teeth and the teeth are sparkling white. If your teeth is not that white, I mean you have this courage to open it and smile like the video is smiling. That's a huge one. Money good though. Make we hustle for this life and make the money keep coming. Let the money keep coming. May God bless our hustles. <laughs> Well, 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 since we're talking about singer Davido, we know Nigerian artists have been doing very well. Bonaboy, Whiskey, the Davidos. As I said, my this video will be based on three hot artists in Nigeria. Do I see the hottest here? Yeah, the three hottest artists in Nigeria, the music industry, Davido, Bonaboy, and Whiskey. These guys are doing very well. Recently, Bonaboy took his show to the O2 Arena in London and it was lit. And also, Whiskey will be doing his Made in Lagos store in the O2 Arena. He sold tickets, he broke records. And Davido also will be taking his show to the O2 Arena in 2022. We have this news for a desk of Davido that Saturday, 5th March 2022, mm -hmm. London, the 5th of March 2022, Davido will be shutting down the O2 Arena. And tickets are on sale. You can, I mean, follow links to buy Davido's tickets in the O2 Arena. Will you be there? We're well, still talking about singer Davido, one of his uh, protege, one guy that, I mean, came up on that Davido. Well, we have this my, my, my moves back in office album because the first album to pick at number one on Nigeria Apple Music before its official release. Wow. Surpassing so Whiskey's record pick at number two before release, all based on free ads. Isn't that wonderful? My comes back in office. I mean, you just broke a record. Nigerian business are breaking records. Breaking records, setting pieces. That's a huge one. Big ups to you guys. Well, let's go on to one of the hottest patients in Nigeria right now. Whiskey. Really want Whiskey to come home with a Grammy Award. He has done very well. His album made in Lagos has done very well. Especially the song he did with Dimes Essence. That song is lit. He's been creating waves. I mean, setting pieces. Doing well, that made in Lagos album. I mean, Whiskey released it like one year ago, and that album has been doing numbers. Because of Whiskey, still talked about Whiskey. We have this news that African artists who has appeared and spent more weeks simultaneously on Billboard Hot 100 and 200 Whiskey 2021, and we have he spent six weeks. Masekela in 1968, he spent 12 weeks. The album spent 12, 12 weeks. That person is from South Africa, and we have Mariam. Makeba in 1967 spent 11 weeks and Manu Dibango 1973 spent 9 weeks and Whiskey had just spent 16 weeks in 2021. He had broken huge record, Maria record and Manu record. Big ups to you Whiskey. Really want Whiskey to come home with the Grammy Award. Well, talking about the Grammy, we have this good news. That made in Lagos by Whiskey Dial has been submitted for the category Best Global Music Album at the 2022 Grammys. Same category Bonaboy won last year for his outstanding Twice as Tall album. That is a huge one. 
So Billboard has confirmed as Whiskey Dios made in Lagos has been submitted for the category Best Global Music Album at the 2022 Grammys. Really, from analysis, statistical analysis or whatever analysis we've done, we have this strong confidence that Whiskey will bring the Grammy Award for because it did very well. You know, 2020 wasn't a rosy year for so many artists, so many artists didn't release album because of the COVID, the pandemic that is still in existence right now, but it has slowed down a lot. But Whiskey did very well. He's made in Lagos album. Immediately Whiskey dropped it. I mean, people were listening, jiving to it, singing to it. He's made in Lagos tour. He just ended his tour in the US and it was rosy. We see so many Americans coming singing back to back vibing to his songs on the album his made in lagos album is lit it's legendary for me i think that's the hottest album right now yeah what do you think about that album you know or if you listen to that is hotter or better than made in lagos please don't forget to drop a comments on the comment section below. let's analyze issues together there was one thing we should remember we should remember this now it won't be whiskey's first grammy he has won a grammy award as a feature artist before but wanting to come with a Grammy to his name, like this is Whiskey Grammy Award, just like Bonaboy did on his album Twice as Tall. Really want Whiskey to come with this album made in Lagos. And for and from the Grammy, they said they have received the submission. Yeah, we really have this strong belief that Whiskey will come with the Grammy Award because they're doing very well working with the international artists. It's like if anybody in the global scene wants to work with a Nigerian or wants to infuse Afro beats into his or her song, the person will feature Whiskey. Beyonce did the same, Drake did the same. I mean, so many artists have been working with Whiskey and the songs have been lit. Well, since talking about Whiskey, we have this news that Whiskey is the dawn of Afrobeats and I got blessings from him that came from the desk of singer Drake. That Whiskey is the dawn. We know what the dawn means of Afrobeats and Drake says he got blessings from Whiskey. Isn't that great? We, we, we remember the songs Whiskey and Drake did together, you know, One Dance. I mean, that song was lit. It was the hottest song of the year. Big up to you, Whiskey. You are really a don. We really want you to come home with that Grammy Award. You've worked, my brother. You don't work. Just come home with the Grammy Award. That is what we keep praying for. You have so many Whiskey fans out there. Whiskey FC. I support Whiskey. I love his songs. Whiskey is my man. My man. So talking about Whiskey or Big Whis, if the world can pay attention to one artist from Africa, why can't they pay attention to all? Whiskey asked in an interview for Rolling Stone 2020 Grammy preview, Big Whis. Whiskey is a nice guy. He's not just concentrating on himself, but concentrating on everybody. And we know the song he did with Thames. That song is lit. Thames is just an upcoming artist, but Whiskey featured her. And all of a sudden, I mean, everybody knows Thames right now. She just released her EP and she also featured well. her in his album, Certified Lover Boy. Which has been doing very well. To big ups to you, Thames, and big ups to Whiskey. Whiskey rises by lifting others. That is a huge one. Well, talking about this question, Whiskey asks, he was basically asked a question that do you feel a responsibility to elevate African artists? You have Thames, who was a relatively new performer on the album. You have Terry, an artist on your Starboy Entertainment imprint on the album. Does that feel like a duty to you? According to Whiskey, he said, Yeah, it is part of me, man. That's me. I am Nigerian. I am African. I write for that. I and grew I up there. there. That's me. So it's only right for me to always make amazing music with my friends, people that I grew up with. And like, if the world can pay attention to one artist from Africa, why can't they pay attention to all? That's the mentality I've got. Pick up to you, with kids. You have a good heart. You want everybody to rise. And you've been doing very well. Pick up. Come home with a Grammy, bro. Come home with a Grammy. <laughs> We're still talking about Whiskey. We are not done. We're listening to Made in Lagos album. As I said, we are just celebrating his one year anniversary. The album's one year anniversary was released like a year ago. Whiskey hints on re a releasing of new album before end of Made in Lagos tour. His Made in Lagos tour is still ongoing. You know, he'll be doing it in the UK. And he has said he will release another album. Come on. You know, after releasing the Made in Lagos album, he released Made in Lagos album Deluxe. It came with about four tracks, yeah? And, I mean, he's been doing very well. And right now, he wants to release another album. This guy, are you sure this guy is resting? Big ups to you, Whiskey. You really need to come with a Grammy. That is what we want. I mean, we, we want you to have a Grammy to your name, just like... We're still talking about Whiskey that says, I mean, that... 
he wants everybody to be on the same page with him. Yeah, he cannot be the only person at the top when it comes to Afrobeats. We have other artists who have been doing very well in Nigeria. Let me give you the top 100 most spotified viral artists in Nigeria. Number one or number two, we have at CK. That is song Love and Wanted. That song is doing numbers. Big up to you, CK. And at number 18, we have Buju to your ears. Buju has been doing very well too. And recently, we have this news that to future Buju, you need like $15,000. That's more than 7 million naira. And people have been complaining that, come on, then how much will it cost to feature Bonaboy that has won a Grammy Award? But because Buju hasn't been nominated, or because Buju hasn't won a Grammy Award yet and he's charging this more. But what there's something about Buju. If you feature him, that's on himself. The guy has been doing very well. He knows how to, I mean, flow into a song, into the beat. We can remember the song he did with Timaya. So many artists, they'll be doing very well. Well, number 20 is Whiskey Dio, and number 30, we have Aya Star. Mm. Number 32, Patu Ranking Fire. At number 33, Joe Boy Official. At number 48, at Omar underscore Lee. Number 49, we have Bonner Boy. At number 50, we have At Ten Baby. At number 55, At Adekun Lego. At number 65, At David o. At number 71, Fire Boy DML. At number 77, and at, at number 79, we have Aya Mayo Kun, who just released his album back in office. Wow, these guys have been doing very well. So these are like the top viral artists on Spotify. They've been doing very well. People have been streaming their songs, listening to their songs. And they've been doing very well. Tell you the comparison, there's this thing we saw online, and it's funny. As they say, would you now charge $15,000 for feature or more? <laughs> Other person said, Almost seven million for featuring. How much Ga Grammy Award winning Bonner Boy won't collect? If, if Buju that hasn't won a Grammy Award is collecting about seven million, what about Bonner Boy that has won a Grammy Award? I mean, recently, or people like Whiskey that have been nominated for Grammys. Musicians are making money. Be like, say, I go start to single. Yeah, I have the voice. I can Well, sing. we're talking about Bonner Boy. Bonner Boy is from a good. Family, Bonner Boy and siblings have been doing very well. They've been doing superbly. We have this news from the desk of Bonner Boy. He said, My mom hates it so much when I tell her I am never getting married. She turns red. Mm. Every mom wants a grandchild. And Bonner Boy, you have the money, you have the resources. What is holding you? I mean, you have a hot girlfriend in the United Kingdom. Come on, man. What is holding you? Give your mom a grandchild. And we know Bonner Boy's mom. She's always supporting Bonner Boy. I mean, we. We see her vibing during Bonaboy shows in the US, UK, wherever Bonaboy goes, she goes with Bonaboy. She's a sweet mother, sweet mother, according to Prince Nico Ibaraga. Bonaboy mother has been doing very well. Well, according to Bonaboy, said, My own issue is that now I am not too sure if I really mean it or I just say it to piss her off. I think they are just saying it to piss, to piss her off because every mom wants grandchild. You want the child to give her a child. <laughs> And Bonaboy just doing this thing too. I mean, just piss the mom off. We know one day you get married and bring home grandchild to your mom because you've won a Grammy Award. And that's like every musician's dream. Everybody wants to come with a Grammy Award. And you've done that. You've, I mean, achieved a lot. You brought on a, him a Grammy Award and be releasing hit singles since you won the Grammy Award. And he promised us. I said earlier, Bonaboy's mom, I mean, all her children have been achieving. They have been, ah. This is blessed. It reminds me of Whiskey's song. I'm feeling blessed. Nigerians are heaping accolades on the Ugulu family, follow the achievement of Bonner Boy's younger sister, Nisi. The young lady designed the new 2022 Range Rover luxury ride. If you see that car, 2022 Range Rover. When I saw it, I mean, I didn't even know it was designed by a Nigerian. Yeah, our sister. She's from Nigeria. <laughs> That car is dope. 2022. I remember we are in 2021. And for a desk of Bonner Boy, his niece's brother, Bonner Boy said, My little sister designed a new range. Someone tell her to run me a discount code. Yeah. She should run me a discount code because she helped to design the car. And that car is lit. When I saw that car online, just look at the car, man. This car fine. The car fine. We know Range Rover. Range Rover car don't be for poor man. You need rubber to buy it. And this is like the latest Range Rover. So many talents in this country. So many talents from this country, but they are making it outside. And politicians keep telling us not to go out. You can imagine if she has stayed and remained here in this country, would she have 
designed this car. We don't even have any automobile company as in that is being owned by the country Nigeria. What's really happening to us? What's the way forward for us in this country? Well, big ups to Nisi, big ups to Bonaboy, big ups to Whiskey, big ups to David. You guys are doing very well. Place Nigeria polishing our image on the warm up. Really appreciate you guys for that. Thank you very much for watching Douglas at the We hope you are Please make sure you hit the subscribe button, the bell, and also like so as to be updated whenever I upload new content. Take care of you and have a memorable day.